In this webinar, we will cover the Presenza system configuration utility for Bosch Presenza design and specification. This is a tool which helps to design and specify a Presenza public address and voice alarm system. With respect to design, it automatically generates optimized amplifier allocation to a given loudspeaker line set and bill of material. With respect to specification, it automatically creates tender texts. The first step in using the tool is to select the language, which we will keep in English here. Then read the disclaimer and data protection article. Click here to confirm that you understand and accept the terms. Then read through the brief description if needed to familiarize yourself with the utility's functions and requirements. Once you're ready, you can start entering data. Select a nominal voltage for the loudspeaker circuit. The default value is 100 volts. Next, specify the maximum load limit per amplifier, which we have here as 600 watts. Set the value after considering factors such as cable losses and future expansion. You can also enter a percentage value for reserve power requirements. Here we specify a reserve of 20%. These values are linked, so you can enter either absolute values or percentage values. When you're ready, upload your prepared loudspeaker line list in the form of a CSV file. When you open it, you will be asked to confirm the parameters you've specified. Once you confirm, you'll get your results. The first part of the results is the submitted speaker line schedule. Adjust the date and project name here. This can be used to review the data, submitted speaker line schedule, and its transitions to optimized schedule. The schedule is sorted by clusters. These contain information about the speaker lines, power supplies, and amplifiers assigned to each cluster. After reviewing the schedule's clusters, you will see a summary covering the configuration's channels, power, and efficiency. In our example, we have very high efficiency at nearly 100%. Remember we left 20% reserve, and we have a preliminary bill of material based on that. The numbers in the end column can be adjusted as needed, for example to add a second redundant controller, extensions, and other system components. If needed, you can directly access product data sheets for more detailed information and specifications. Battery operation and power requirement parameters can also be calculated. When you're satisfied with the configuration, the results can be printed to the format that works best for you. 
either bill of material or tender texts.